This is a podcast from the Radcliffe Department of Medicine. Professor Vincenzo Sarundolo tells us how research in immunology leads to the development of new cancer treatments. Hello, Enzo. Hello, Anne. What is the response of the immune system to cancer? Well, let me start by saying that there is a tremendous momentum in the field of tumor immunology and cancer vaccines. And in the last few years, we are really observing uh, and obtaining very exciting results in the clinic, mainly based on the knowledge derived from the last uh, 20 or 30 years of of basic research. So the evidence that uh, the immune system can recognize and attack uh, tumor cells uh, is very strong and and compelling. And, And this is mainly supported by uh, results of experiments done uh, in um, laboratory models and also by our ability to purify uh, tumor-specific lymphocytes from a broad range uh, of, uh, uh, of, of patients with, with, with different tumor types. So th- the question is uh, not whether the immune system can uh, recognize cancer cells, uh, but why those uh, tumor-specific lymphocytes are not capable to complete their job and eradicate uh, and destroy tumor cells. And it appears that the answer to this question uh, is mainly centered uh, on the ability of uh, tumor cells to uh, evade or escape uh, immune recognition, mainly due to the unstable DNA or stable chromosomes of tumor cells, uh, and on many mechanisms that tumor cells uh, have to actively suppress and hamper the ability of the immune system to recognize cancer cells. So this is the challenge that we are facing and and this is in a sense what my laboratory is is currently uh, uh, developing in terms of line of research. And can we harness T cells to fight cancer? Certainly. The field of of tumor immunology is at the moment on a very solid uh, both conceptual and uh, technical footing and as I said before uh, we can uh, uh, really we are benefiting from the, the basic knowledge derived from the last 30 years of research and we are applying those concepts to the clinic, to cancer patients right now. Can you give us an example? Sure, there are uh, several strategies that, uh, w- that are currently being uh, uh, developed in the field and, and these strategies range from uh, the use of uh, uh, recombinant harmless uh, viruses that encode uh, tumor proteins uh, which can be used to elicit uh, tumor specific uh, immune responses. Other strategies are based on the injection of recombinant proteins, tumor proteins, together with adjuvants which are molecules that can enhance uh, and boost uh, the immune response. We are also purifying dendritic cells, uh, which are very powerful white blood cells, uh, and pulse them with tumor fragments in order to elicit uh, an immune response. And other groups are isolating uh, from uh, patients tumor-specific lymphocytes, expanding them in vitro, enhancing the affinity of of their receptor, the receptor which is capable of recognizing tumor cells, and then re-injecting them in vivo. But by far the most um, exciting development in in the field uh, is the use of antibodies which can block inhibitory signals uh, on on T cells, uh, lowering the threshold of activation of of T cells. In this way, the immune system, we can harness the immune system in order to recognize tumor cells more efficiently. And what are the most important lines of research that have developed over the past five or ten years? I think that by far the most um, efficient uh, cancer vaccine today is the vaccine against papilloma virus. And uh, uh, as you know, the um, uh, the injection of this vaccine has been shown to prevent uh, in a very large proportion of individuals the incidence of cervical cancer. So this family of vaccines is called prophylactic vaccines because they are designed to prevent the onset of cancer. They're much more challenging, uh, the the development of therapeutic vaccine is much more challenging. And and the the difficulties here is that uh, therapeutic vaccines, meaning in vaccines for patients that have cancer, uh, you need to expand a large number of tumor-specific lymphocytes. These lymphocytes need to home into the tumor, and once they reach the tumor, they they need to survive uh, in, in a very nasty environment that they need to overcome all the immunosuppressive mechanisms that the tumor is uh, switching on in order to suppress the immune response. This is much more challenging. However, in the last uh, few years, there's been a 
a, a sea change in this field with the use of these antibodies that I mentioned before that can block these inhibitory signals. Antibodies such as uh, ipilimumab, uh, it's an anti-CTLA-4, it's a very difficult name, but has been shown that melanoma patients that receive these antibodies, 20% of these patients can have complete regression. So although there are side effects, uh, the initial results are extremely exciting because they uh, pave the way towards strategies where these antibodies will be combined together with uh, uh, vaccination strategies that will uh, specifically enhance tumor-specific uh, T cells. So why does your line of research matter? Why should we put money into it? My research program is uh, mainly uh, focused on two uh, complementary lines of research. One is the uh, characterization of uh, adjuvants, in other words, of small molecules that can harness and expand uh, both the uh, innate and adaptive immune system. And by doing this, uh, we will combine, we will enhance both antibody responses and uh, T cell responses. Uh, in parallel, I'm uh, also uh, dissecting the several mechanisms that tumors use to, to suppress the uh, immune response. And, and the reason why it matters is because uh, every year, just in the UK, uh, 160,000 people die of cancer. So just imagine this is the equivalent of uh, the whole of the population of Oxford that every year die of cancer. So I think this is why it matters. And how does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? Well, and it fits uh, very well. I, as I mentioned, those adjuvants, those compounds that we are optimizing and characterizing in my lab uh, will be used in cancer vaccines, in vaccination strategies in melanoma patients, in fact, uh, next year with a clinical trial that will be funded both by the Medical Research Council and by the Ludwig Institute for Cancer Research. This is very much in line with the direction of travel of the department, but also with the overall themes uh, that are currently developed within the uh, Human Immunology Unit uh, um, that uh, is focused on translating basic results uh, into the clinic. Thank you, Enzo. Thank you, Anna.